DocuSign doesn't just allow you to send documents for signatures to your signers by emails. You can also do that by SMS. So in this video, I'm going to explain how the feature works and what you might want to consider before you start actually using it. I believe that SMS delivery is very useful for two main reasons. First, it really helps speed up the signing process of your envelopes because emails are easily buried in people's inboxes nowadays and text inboxes tend to be less crowded. You also tend to respond much quicker to a text than an email as well. And it helps deliver envelopes to signers who don't have an email address. Think about an elderly population. Some of them don't have an email address, but they will have an SMS to receive the envelope. So this is the second reason I think this feature is actually great. The way that the feature works is pretty simple. You simply need to add the name and SMS of the person you're sending the envelope to when you're creating the envelope, whether you're creating the envelope from scratch or whether you're using a template. But there are quite a few limitations and things to consider and I created to address all of those in this video. Now you can choose whether you want your signers to receive the notification to complete the envelopes by SMS only, SMS and email, or of course, just email. And if you're new to this channel, my name is Sofian Saudi and I'm the founder of Solution Consulting. We are a digital transformation agency that helps businesses automate client and employee onboarding workflows using the best of breed technology products and integrations. If you need help with your DocuSign templates, your DocuSign integration, or you simply want to automate more of your paperwork, you can use the link in the description of this video to book a strategy session with us. And if you're completely new to DocuSign, be sure to download the free DocuSign Mastery Cheat Sheet that will help you understand how you can build your templates, use your fields, and all the various DocuSign features. But back to the SMS feature, let's jump on DocuSign and see how you would send that envelope and what else you will want to consider. Let's just say that I want to send a W4 to an employee. So I'm going to select my template or create my envelope from scratch. And so here what I can do is change the delivery from email to email plus SMS or just simply SMS. I'm just going to say that I want this to be sent to my mobile number and I just need to specify my name. Then I'll agree to the SMS delivery consent and I just receive an SMS from DocuSign saying that I've got this document to sign. I'm just going to tap on the link and here my DocuSign signing experience just starts. So it's pretty simple, right? But there's a few things that you want to consider before you start using the SMS delivery feature. First, you're going to need to purchase a separate add-on from DocuSign to be able to send your envelopes by SMS. I cannot give you a price, but I know that you can buy them by packages, bundles of hundreds or even thousands of SMS. Second, if your documents aren't optimized for mobile signing, like it's the case with this particular document, it might be a little difficult for your signers to complete documents on mobile devices, which is why whenever possible, you want to redesign the documents and make them mobile responsive. Obviously, when you're dealing with a government form in PDF, you can't do that with DocuSign, but if you're sending a contract or if you're sending anything that you are able to customize, then I really recommend you spend some time making all your documents mobile responsive, particularly if you know that you're going to send them a text message. The third thing that's kind of annoying is that recipients can only receive up to one SMS reminder and DocuSign does this to avoid people being spammed. However, if you've registered the email address of the recipient, they will also receive the standard reminders. So now the actual content of the SMS can't be changed because it's controlled by DocuSign. It's not like the email subject and message that you can completely customize inside of DocuSign when you're sending the envelopes by email. SMS delivery is not compatible with PowerForms or bulk send, which is a bummer because it makes it very difficult to envelopes by SMS to a large number of people at the same time. There are still workarounds, but it's not out of the box. You will need an integration for that. And I'm hoping that DocuSign will fix this in the future because it's a feature that a lot of our clients are actually looking for. Now, in the next video, I will cover how you can conduct an in-person signing session for situations when your signers are physically present with you. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.